Hi, kind of a different video this time. I want to show you guys some things that I've been using over the last couple weeks, couple months, kind of my top 10 items um, to share. Most of them are stationary related, some are not. Um, so let's dive in. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. First thing I've been doing in my Traveler's Notebook, this is a Chic Sparrow Pemberley. And my gosh, I just love it. Look how heavily it is and the dark color. Those are both things that I like. Anyway, um, I've been using as a bookmark some sparkly tool that came across my way recently in a gift bag. And the tool is quiet. It doesn't clink around and tap like the beads do. Don't get me wrong. I love beaded bookmarks. I love charms. I have some, and I've been using them off and on. But when I go to a cafe or a library, I like using this. It's a memento of, of, a, of a gift, which is fun. It's a double-sided bookmark. It's textured and it's quiet, so when I set it down, nobody knows that it's there. Um, I'm not announcing my, my journal. Um, additionally, it can be removed very quickly. I just pull it out of the top, and it's just fun. It's really pretty. It's really functional. And so the length of this, and again, this came in a gift bag, so this is just, this is about... This is about 20 inches, 22 inches worth of tool, and it's gorgeous. I can switch it out at will, so um, yeah, so it's just kind of fun. You can probably get a remnant at Joann's or something. So anyway, try the little bit of fabric if you have a favorite scarf, um, a piece of a Halloween costume, you know, whatever you have laying around that appeals to you, and consider the tool because it does have texture and it kind of grabs the page. All right, a channel that I have watched recently that I absolutely love. It's a brand new channel as far as I can tell, but this gal has a blog and is on Instagram. I um, hope I'm pronouncing it properly. It's Ha Life. She has a bullet journal that is to die for. Um, it's very creative. It is a journal and a planner, and um, her creativity and her voice just really shouts out from every page. Check it out. There are some things in her journal that could easily be used in a notebook, easily could be used in uh, a ring-bound journal or planner, and I'm going to be trying some of her, her ideas over the next few months. So give her a shout. She's on YouTube. Okay, and yeah, give her some love over there. So clear hole reinforcements. I love these in my ring bound planners. And previously I had to get them at a local Japanese um, dollar store, not Daiso, but one that's called Fit, FIT in Houston. But I saw these in Staples recently. Um, I hadn't noticed them before, but they're clear, which I love. And so when I have colored dashboards and things that I've made in my ring bound planners, it's nice to be able to put a clear reinforcement that's my style. It's my preference. I find it a little less distracting. So check those out. Okay, here is a pencil case. I got this from Jet Pens, and it's, um, you can see the little, uh, let's see, writing, drawing, and a pen is all you need to deliver a message, if y'all can read that, if it's focused. I got this, again, from Jet Pens. It was, I don't know, $13, $14, unfortunately, and I... It's discontinued. They may have some left, I don't know. But I want to show you for the concept. I like the size, okay, but it has a clear panel. And y'all remember those old school pencil cases? Some of us still use them here and there. I have one in my car. It's just, it goes in a ring bound binder. It's a flat rectangle, and the front panel, the front panel's clear. I'll tell you, those are really speaking to me. And so I'm mentioning it to consider, throw out there, uh, for y'all to consider a pencil case that has a clear panel. Obviously you can see where your items are and what you have in your case, but so many times for myself when I open a case, now the lighting in here isn't bad, it's better in real life than what it looks like in camera, but I open a pencil case and it is so dark and a lot of my pens and stationary accessories are black, I really have to feel around. Since this one is clear, okay, if I'm in a plane or um, a darkened Starbucks corner or something like that, when I open this up, I get a little more light in from the side and it helps me find my items. And this pencil case, I like it. It's a nice pencil case. Again, if I can find it in Amazon somewhere, I'll put a link. But again, mainly I'm mentioning it because it has a clear panel. This size has been working pretty well. I have another one of those Unifit Meisters, which I love. Friction highlighter. Here's a bright old school UB highlighter. Um, scissors. This is set from Jet Pens. So this is what I'm carrying with me on the go. A double-ended, dual-tipped permanent marker. 
this is one of these pens from my uh, Gilio. Another friction, just to give you an idea of how much this will hold comfortably. A pencil, a Unistyle Fit Refill in blue-black, um, another Uni Multi, and a Uniball Signo in um, Bordeaux Black, and one of my favorite pens. So anyway, um, try to find you, uh, and I have some correction tape and some watchy that was a wrap from Kimberly Rothermel. Thank, thank girl, thank you. So try to see if you can find some pencil cases with a clear panel and I'm really thinking I'm like this close going back to the old flat rectangular ones because they're flat they you know I cycle between things I don't know and I'm a bit of a pencil case collector okay enough said about pencil cases um, okay so jet pens is offering a purchase choice right now where you can try an assortment of blue black pens some of these I got from Jet Pens. Some of these I got from Tokyo Pen Shop. Love them both, especially Tokyo Pen Shop. They are just um, really quick with emails, quick with shipping, etc. Some of these are in the Jet Pens recommend recommended collection, but I first found out about blue black ink or had my attention focused on it from um, Kimberly at Tokyo Pen Shop. She likes the color. She suggests it as an alternative to try other than black. Um, it's apparently it's a very popular color in Japan and you know I, I like black. Black is fine but I, for myself the lighting I work with I find black a little harsh to use in my planner and journals. Anyway so this is what I'm doing. So I got an assortment of these. My favorite right now is a Uniball Signal Signo RTI, and this is a 0.5, and it has a nice chunky feel, a nice grip that isn't, it doesn't have that bumpy stuff, and it is refillable, and it holds a boatload of ink. See how wide that is? And I'm really liking that. So I'm carrying that in my Pemberley, my personal size traveler's notebook, in the second pen loop that I added along with my Unifit Meister. So that's a cool pen. I tried this one too, uh, a Sonorasa Dry. This is supposed to be a good pen for lefties to dry very quickly. I like it. It works great. I think the RTI that I just showed you is just fine. I'm right-handed and so that's not an issue, but I wanted to try it. Here's one that I like. It's a Manami, uh, what is this, Super Gel. Super Gel Q. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I got this one from Jet Pens. It's um, a 0.4, and it has that standard diamond tip here. It's a little bit wider, and so it feels a little more stable while it's writing. And um, I really like these pens. Most of them have a really wet roll, which is nice on the Chic Sparrow calendar inserts because it has a little bit of a texture and it's a heavier paper. This one is a bit of a fail for me. It's a pretty pen, and this was the most expensive. I mean, this was over... Ten dollars, I'm sure. It's a ball knock on top, and I like those, especially when I'm on the go. It has a nice cushiony grip, but it's very scratchy. Um, it's an Alpha Uni Alpha Gel, and I love Uni pens. You're getting that idea, but this one just isn't working. And I want to say this one's a point four. I want to say pretty sure about that, but it just feels scratchy. The ink just doesn't, just doesn't have a good flow for me. But it's a nice pen, and so um, I do carry this one about in my bag because it is a ball knock. It is comfortable, but for uh, heavy writing, um, no, didn't really care for that. And the last one I tried, this is like the Bordeaux Black Uniball Signo that I like, except this is in blue black, and it's 0 .5. 0 0.5 is a good um, writing tip for me. The ink has enough flow that it doesn't scratch with the pressure that I write, with the angle that I hold my pen, and... Um, in blue black this is really pretty I like that too forgive me if I'm not staying in frame so I like that my favorite out of all these blue blacks is unquestionably the RTI um, it's just comfortable it's a little more professional looking if um, if that's what I want but it's wide and it holds a boatload of ink I really really like that and it's refillable usually the thicker pens like that in that style are not so in my last order from from uh, each of Jet Pens and Tokyo Pen Shop, I loaded up on blue black refills for my Meister pens right here, and for the Uni this Uni um, 
multi pen that I have. I love blue black. I'm really liking that color. So anyway, um, try that color. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Let me know below. Um, give it a go. Again, it's a nice alternative to black. Nothing wrong with black. I like it. But this complements my inserts nicely because most of the lines and the characters and the fonts, the ink colors and inserts, in many of them are a dark color. It's usually black. And so this stands out a little bit more than um, than using a black ink. Okay, oh, here's one more blue black. I'm so sorry. This is my Filofax new pocket and I'll be doing a video on this soon. Here's the last blue black. Sorry about that. This one's uber thin. Um, this is a Sacramento ball sign. Okay, 0 0.4, 0 0.04, and it's really thin as you can see. And the Filofax elasticated pen loop on this uh, cover story is very, very narrow. And even though it has a wider grip down here, um, this grip is smooth plastic and it fits because it's so narrow, it fits in here very well. Okay. And here are a couple non-stationary items, cherry chapstick. And I love this. It doesn't sting my lips. Chapped dry uh, cold weather means chapped skin. It has just a little bit of a tint. It's cheap. It's available at the checkout at Target and most places. And again, just a little bit of a color. And I like the peppermint chapsticks. I like reg chapstick and blistics, period. But the peppermint ones sting my lips when they're chapped. Um, anyway, this is just fun. Lastly, okay, for you, when you're doing your holiday shopping, Black Friday, um, Christmas, whatever, I my family loves these, and I do too. It's a 12 gram protein meal bar, okay, by Kellogg's, and it's strawberry flavored. Um, it's, you know, there's no substitute for a good balanced meal, but when you're out in the go and standing in line, this is 22, you read that hopefully, 22 grams of carbohydrates, uh, 14 grams of sugar, some good vitamins, and again, 12 grams. And my daughter is a very picky eater. She's a college student. She tried this and even she likes it, so she carries one now. And my husband likes it too. So anyway, give these a go. So those are my picks recently. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a shout. Take care.